हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल नो द गेम्स विच आर ओरिजिनेटेड इन आवर इंडिया ओके द गेम्स विच आई एम स्पीकिंग अबाउट दोज आर एंशियंट गेम्स एंड वी विल नो विच आर दोज सिंस एंशियंट टाइम्स गेम्स हैव बीन प्लेड इन इंडिया फॉर रिक्रिएशनल एंड मेंटल एंड फिजिकल फिटनेस फ्रॉम इंडोर गेम्स टू आउटडोर स्पोर्ट्स सम आर नाउ played internationally here is the history behind some of these games chess chess was devised in india and was known as ashtapada which means 64 squares unlike how the games is played today it used to be played with a dice on a checkered board but without black and white squares a few years later the game was called chaturang it was divided into four parts called angas which were symbolic of the four branches of an army just like the real ancient indian army it has pieces called elephant chariot horses and soldiers and was all played to devise with strategy in 600 ce persian learned this game and named it shatranj checkmate comes from the persian term in the game shahamat the king is died karam a strike and pocket table game that is popularly played throughout south asia and in a few middle eastern countries carrom is said to have originated in the indian subcontinent though there isn't any particular proof it is said that indian maharajas invented the game centuries ago you can find an ancient glass carrom board in patiala punjab Carrom gained popularity after World War 1 and is now played at family or social gatherings for fun. Ludo. Ludo is a board game that we have all played at least once. Earlier in India it was called Pachisi and the board was made out of cloth or jute a depiction of pachisi is found in the caves of ajanta in maharashtra showing that the game was quite popular in the medieval era the mughal empire emperors of india such as akbar also liked playing pachisi in the late 19th century different variations of the same games were played in england in 1896 a similar game appeared that was called ludo and thus the name was patented pachisi was an earlier form of ludo snake and ladders in ancient india snake and ladders was called moksha patanam moksha pat and parama padam created by saint gnandev in the 13th century this game of vice and virtues was used in hindu dharma to teach good value to children the snakes represented vice and the ladder virtues the squares where the ladders were found depicted virtues for example square 12 was faith 51 was reliability 76 was knowledge and so on
similarly the squares where the snakes were found were known as vice square 41 was disobediency 49 was vulgarity 84 was anger etc the 100th square represented moksha or nirvanam with time the game underwent a number of changes but the meaning remained the same if you do good deeds you will go to heaven and if you do bad deeds you will be reborn dice if certain accounts are to be believed oblong dice were found in excavations at harappa sites like these are the following names where the sites names are there and you will be able to find such dice there in the excavation these dice were earlier used for gambling dice then spread to persia and become a part of popular board game there earlier mentioned of dice are also found in the rigveda and atharvaveda cards modern playing cards originated in ancient india and were called krida patram they were made of cloth pieces and showcased ancient designed from the ramayana and mahabharata in medieval india they were called ganifa cards and were played in the royal courts of rajputana kashmir odisha the deccan areas as well as nepal these cards were all handmade and traditionally painted to provide the card with sufficient thickness several cloth pieces were glued together later cards were played by all levels of society made from tortoise shell or ivory and decorated with pearls and precious metals polo do ancient polo finds its origin in central asia it was manipur in india that set the foundation for modern polo when babar founded the mughal empire in the 15th century he made the sports quite famous later when the british came to india they adopted the sport and it gradually spread across the world mostly the game is played on horseback but the british invented another variation on elephant back elephant polo is today popular in the indian state of rajasthan and countries like sri lanka nepal and thailand kho 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 or the game of chess was earlier played in maharashtra it is one of the most popular traditional indian sports during ancient times it was played on ratha chariot and was called rathera when akhil maharashtra sharirik shikshan mandal published the rules of the game officially in 1935 kho kho became popular under the kho kho federation of india the first kho kho championship was organized in 1959 in 1982 it was included in the indian olympic association bull fighting the bull tam taming sports of tamil nadu is known by various names in india such as jallikattu manju virattu etc it is mostly played during pongal celebration bulls are specifically bright for these sports earlier bull fighting was a popular sports of tamil nadu's ancient tribes <coughs> it became a platform to showcase bravery a form of entertainment and was 
and a way to win some spo- uh, some prize money kabaddi kabaddi is a contact sports that is around 4000 years ago it is another sports that started in tamil nadu and developed from ancient village defense tactics and group hunting kabaddi is an umbrella term and has many other forms under it sanjeevni amar punjabi and gamini also as well as some international rules combining characteristics of rugby and wrestling kabaddi requires great power and skill the game goes for 40 minutes and has seven players on each side malkhamb malkhamb is an traditional sports originated from the indian subcontinents in which a gymnast perform aerial yoga postures and wrestling grips in concert with a virtual stationary or hanging wood pole cane or rope the word malkham also refers to the pole used in the sports now there is one question that uh, hockey is our national game but as this is an ancient games from uh, our country which ha- which the games have been originated Uh, there is no any evidence that hockey is originated from our uh, country so it cannot be included in this as uh, it is specifically uh, for uh, few ancient games so i hope i have uh, given you sufficient knowledge of indian origin games in this topic stay fit and stay healthy thank you